Hey there, it's Penapon Saucepans and people in the greater audiences. Yeah, no, yeah, it seems early, doesn't it? Like, I feel like we just spun the wheel, but... Like, I feel like Guardian Legend is heading towards the end, and then I'm like, okay, in a week with about three worlds out of possibly eight of Seta, I don't know how long the other game is going to be that's going to be... So basically, I don't know. I am. I, I kind of. I don't really have a good vibe for how long. A lot of what is going on and what is going to come up is going to be. So I decided to air prudently, and also I want to do this before I. I, I have to do full on advent stuff. And I figure, yeah, let's just kind of hit that early. So yeah, hi, hey, hey there, everyone. Like I just said. Uh, we're doing this, I guess. We're doing a full royal, and then we're gonna do a court, and then we're gonna set up a poll. Uh, busy day, busy night, and uh, everything on a time limit of uh, a week. Reminder that to be part of the royal system, it is opt-in, but once you're in, you are in, assuming you remain a uh, pet upon. Um... It was something I wanted to say that I thought was important to mention. Oh yeah, in the R zone here, it is not going to be a game of my choosing. That will be where the choice of the uh, the contest thing, you know, the contest thing, the 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 Raukau yearly review contest. Uh, time limit on a tenth. So if you haven't, if you're on Patreon and you haven't participated yet. Go check out that pose. Go check out that Chalong uh, link. And, yeah, I mean, you got nothing to lose, really. Like, you know, just try to see how I would rate together all the games I've played in 2023. And then uh, if you're the one that got the closest, you're going to be involved in choosing my R-Zone pick coming right up in this capsule of games. Uh, all right, let's shuffle this a few times. And let's just go. That's right, here we are. It's the music that the will plays. It's always the same, but I'm afraid to change. <laughs> I don't know why, it just doesn't feel right. And the royal is Wiki Wiki. I do not recall your name. ND, huh? No, not ND. Wiki Wiki. And I will say, when it's someone whom I'm less familiar with, like, those are always very exciting because it's like, who, like, like, I don't know what to expect. I just double check, and they're still, they're still in Discord, uh, were more present, uh, some years ago. I hope they're still around. Uh, Wiki, I hope, or maybe you changed your name and I didn't realize. That's possible. There's a bit, sometimes, of a name-changing thing, and sometimes I get, get. But Wiki! Please, 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 please put three games in front of me, and I'm going to choose one of them, and then uh, I'm going to choose, and then I'm going to play it at some point. Maybe it'll be before 2024. Maybe it'll be well start 2024 with the you know sort of like how it's all kind of set up. I'm not sure, but no, yeah, Wiki, this is your chance. Make it happen. Looking forward to it. Now let me modify the wheel a little bit. All right, so I have added uh, past royal because they may participate in the whole royal thing. I'm gonna pick five. Each of them is going to present to me one game and I will choose amongst these five games. That's how it goes. You know, it's, it's pretty straightforward. I think it's pretty straightforward. I don't know. Kishard! Oh, 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 now that's a long time name. Alright, Kishard, you are the first royal. Get me one game. By the way, you know, deadlines for all of this is always, like I said, a week. Uh, basically when the poll ends, the poll end, you know, they end when they end. It's gonna be like around three in a week. Like next Monday? Yeah, that wouldn't make sense. Here we go. This is the second Ray Cool. That's another really old viewer. It's just like, oh, we are summoning the ancients today. All right. Well, which ancient spirit are we going to summon next? 
don't know, this is exciting. All right, well, here we go. Remember, like, the choosing the game for the night is kind of like a different art than choosing your three royals. I feel like Silver Scree. The Scree of the Silver. And then, no, oh, we're going to get another one. Who will it be? Will it be a macaroni sandwich? Probably not. I'm gonna assume Melancholia. Oh, hey! ND just means that, you know, as far as I am aware, they are not on the Discord, and it just means that contacting, you know, means something different. Like, maybe not expect a DM, and rather expect, like, a, a Patreon DM instead of a Discord one or something. That's the only reason I put it down. Melancholia, third down the list. Like, very, very recent edition. You get to put a name out. It's rare. Normally, some people have waited years. And they still haven't popped out. That's the way it works sometimes, you know? This is like pure luck. I mean, I don't know how pure the luck it is, but you know, pure enough. And Anime Sue, a former royal, gets to step back into the ring and propose a single game. Man, uh, also I think it's Emine, and I think it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a thing, it's a, what's the word? I'm looking for a typo. I think it's Emine Sue, and I should apologize. But here we go, Kushar, Raikul, Silver Cream, Melancholia, and Eminence 2. Very wild mix, like I said. Like, um, I feel like we've had a few rounds where there were like a lot of uh, regulars, right? This is not the case this time, so like I just do not know what to expect. Like, I don't mean that in a bad way. Like, you know, like I understand that, you know, some people are very happy just sitting back and, you know, watching the show go forward. And that's rad, and, like, that's always going to be the higher percentage, right, of people. But, uh, nonetheless, here we go. And, Wiki, I need your three games. And, uh, U5, Kashai, Rekul, Silver Cree, Macaulay, and Su. I need one pick of you each. Um, that's about it on that end, I'm sure. Uh... Yeah, uh, okay, and let's say that, you know, you, you're you're aware that it is time for you to give me a thing, but, like, you're not ready for it. Still, if you could send me a message just so that I know that you know, even if you're not ready to give me your games, like, just give me a heads up that you know, so I don't have to wonder if you know or not. Uh, that's always good, especially for the Royal. Uh, that's especially important. All right, and then we're gonna spin for some games. <laughs> Every time, this stupid wheel. <laughs> so we're gonna spin it. We're gonna spin it five times. This is gonna be on the Patreon post. There's gonna be a link, a link to a uh, poll so that we can do, you know, some ranking polls, polls for ranking, uh, rank voting, cause that's a pretty darn gosh good system. We're gonna, yeah, we've got five games, and, uh, we're gonna see what happens. <laughs> there's six, there's not exact, there's a little bit less than 640. There are s a slight little, light, slight, small little amount of meta options for fun, but it is mostly games. No advantages, it's all equal. Spin the kerfuffle, and here we go! Five games will be chosen, except this time it's gonna be chosen from you, except I chose a game that went on a wheel, so it, whatever, it's fine. It's fine. Is it? Did I mean? No, 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 no. Zeo Drifter, yes, yes, yes. Oh, that's not the game that I thought. Zeo Drifter? I, I kinda... Huh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it's like a little little guy. It's a little red guy in his little adventure. Uh, well, okay. Uh, this is as good as any. I'm assuming. What's this gonna be about? The Zeo Drifter, with an axe. Nintendo Switch. I'm gonna be playing on, on a computer. 
Retro Roots. Yeah, that is a switch, though. So got a spaceship going to a planet. Then you press the button to dock, become a duck, and quack. All right, so it's a like a little exploration game. There's a massive laser beam. Don't worry about it. That cube of tofu is extremely bored. A must-have title, if you say so. <laughs> I don't know. I don't recall when I heard of this. But, I mean, every game is added by me, so this looks kind of neat. Whoa! Okay, shenanigans just happen. Oh, there's a foreground thing going. I mean, the sprite remind... the sprite art... okay. There's upgrades. Okay. I mean, I don't know if this is an exploration game, which is how I call it Metroidvania, but Hana's gamers just call it a Metroidvania, so I guess it is. Like, I just wonder if we've got a bit of an exploration game fatigue going on with what I'm playing sometimes. Especially with Rusted Moss coming up at some point in the future. But this looks super rad, though. Like, that looks absolutely fantastic. Um... Yeah, I don't remember adding it, but it's there. It's not like it appeared there on its own. Zero Drifter looks genuinely super sweet. Uh, so there you go. Zeo Drifter's gonna be the first game you can choose for. Let's keep going. Here we go. A little unsure about how the future will unfold. I mean, sometimes it's the weird things that can really take you by surprise. And today, on the sixth... Yes! Valda Story! Y'all remember Valda Story? It's a video game I played a thousand years ago, like three computers ago. That's how I measure time. And it's a game I had to give up because my build was bad. I dispersed myself too much, so I ended up extremely weak. And also I was playing on hard mode, which kind of assumes that one, you love grinding, and two, you extremely know the game well. And so I've always wanted to replay that game. Because, see, like, so I remember the game started with a character choice. So I figured, okay, I could start over with a second character instead. So things will still be relatively new. And maybe I could follow the suggestions on someone on how to properly level myself. Also, I might just play on not the hardest difficulty and not constantly bang my face on something. Sounds like a great idea, right? Like, this is something I genuinely want to do. I want to give Val the story a second shot and, you know, give it more of a proper justified try. That is my belief. All right, I guess I'll just name it Valda Story in my file here at this point. And then erase the V resulting in Alda Story. That's pretty wacky. You don't get that kind of wackiness anywhere except here, I guess, in this exact moment in time on this video. It's not really a moment of time because it's recorded, so it can be at any time you are personally. Uh, experiencing it and also it's a time that will not exist for the mass vast vast majority of all humans that will ever exist because the amount of people who are watching this video in terms of the entire collective of humanity is infinitely small well not infinitely but extremely very <laughs> sometimes you should not use infinite as a superlative infinite has a very very specific meaning and that meaning... So, you might have noticed I've interrupted myself very awkwardly. So, reminder that I give myself the ability to veto anything for any reason. I am upholding my right to do so right now, and I, I'm not gonna go into any more details. It's just some games I'm aware might be more of a thing. And sometimes I kind of don't want to thing. I don't know. Trust me on this. At least, you know, at least a somber. Somber. Oh, that looks beautiful. Just the... Just the thing here. Just the thumbnail. Yo, look at that! 
paper craft style. Oh, I am digging this. Show, show me the game a bit more. You've, you've established a mood. Show me what happens when buttons are pressed. Oh, and meta, that doesn't say much. Okay, so you are playing a little smoky snake eyeball. As one does. Has double jumps. I mean... I don't think it's going to surprise anyone when I say this is tickling some extremely powerful parts of my brain here. Like, this is screaming, yo, check it out, Lao Cal, this is a game you want to play. And no, oh, yeah, you are absolutely correct. Somber? Anyone want to see me giggle through a video game called Somber? Because I do. Oh, that looks so rad cool. Somber the game. And I don't know what those glyphs mean. Uh, maybe they're just company things? They could be. Somber. Oh. Oh, that looks really rad. Somber. Okay. Here we go. Spinning a wheel. It happens at all. No, but yeah, came out, No, I guess. I guess I got Karen and Zines back on the mine. Because I got that in the advent the other day, but looking there, it was released in October or so. Poi! Okay, I'm guessing that is it. Poi! Rated everyone ten Today's the day of games I don't remember adding. Poi! That okay. Extreme hat and time vibe, like immediately. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Okay, so 3D platformer, you got a camera, you got a mole, whack mole, those don't whack. Get out of here, robot! <laughs> yeah, wait, also, yeah, you got, like, those strings are very, extremely, uh, had in time-esque. Oh, it's a whale balloon. Okay, I get it. But, like, those are... <laughs> Welcome to video game floating islands. I mean, they make it work. You get to slide. You get to do a little roll thing. That's pretty good. <laughs> so, yeah. But, like, it seems to be extremely level-based. Uh, which is very exciting. There's a clock in the sand. Uh, I don't know if it would work very well. Yahoo! Okay, now I get it. Okay, poigame.com. All right. This balloon is not going to have a good time if it's trying to sail through a storm. Like a normal boat kind of struggle if you're also in the air. I can't believe it'll go very well. Yeah, so there oh yeah, I blah, blah, blah. <laughs> those are my thoughts. Um, boy, the art direction, I'm gonna be, I'm, I'm gonna admit it, it didn't speak to me, I'm just gonna say it flat out. But looking how things were starting to set up there in the back half of the, of the trailer there, extremely video game construction of levels, I mean, I don't know, that, that looks pretty rad, that looks pretty cool. And we got a fifth. We're going... To spin the wheel one last time. What is it going to be? I don't... Once again, <laughs> abrupt edit as I decided to use my right of veto. This time, because I just saw someone do a let's play of that game, like, very, very, very recently. And so I kind of need time to, like, reset my memory of it a little bit. It's a game I've already played, though. Like, it's not, like... Normally, if it's a game I've never played, I just don't watch anything forever. So because it's a game I've already played, I need to rebuild that, like, backness of I don't rememberism. That's weirdly said, but I think you understand what I mean. I just like spinning the wheel. All right, I'm going to threaten the fact that I'm not gonna spin again and see if the game of uh, randomness 
says otherwise. Uh, same! Exact same situation. I, I just saw footage too recently. I don't feel comfortable jumping in. This is silly. How does this happen twice in a row? Normally, I never veto. And I veto three times today. I guess I'm catching up for all the vetoing I haven't been doing. I, I can't, I cannot justify playing this, uh, the game that was chosen because I am, um, it doesn't seem, uh, reliable enough. Like, I, I looked up the page how it, so it is a game that I would emulate and I looked up the data on the compatibility page of that emulator and it doesn't seem reliable enough. I would not feel comfortable taking a chance. Uh, I feel like it needs to emulate a little bit better. One day, one day, <laughs> like I'm, I, I'm not doing it on purpose, and like I mean it. Like I, 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 I really, 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 really. To me, it's important to play what the wheel gets. I'm not being webbed. Oh, I know what this is, kinda. But yeah, like, like I'm, like, like I mean it though. Like I'm not trying to go. Oh, I don't want to play that. Every reason that I give, I feel like is justified, and it's not, I don't want to play it. With that said, webbed. For some reason, I was imagining something that looked different. Webbed. Today's a day of indie games. It's a little cute little spider, look at it. Alright, got strings. Yeah, uh, real spiders don't really have friends. One of them would be maybe- Whoa, hello, bird. <laughs> yeah, no, no kidding. Webbed. Like the internet. I get it. Ooh, again, I am seeing some... resemblance with a game coming up that I'm gonna be playing a little bit. Oh, that's pretty rad, though. What kind of game is it? Like, those critters are not attacking. So is it like an exploration game? That fly. Hey, behold! Hi, fly lord. Uh, okay, you get to eat bugs. Which, uh, I don't know if that's scientifically accurate there, but it's happening. Okay, so it's a little bit sillier. This looks really cool. Like, this looks super rad. Uh, yeah, burn that pincer. That's how we do things. Okay. Oh, jeez, there's a spider gun. <laughs> I mean, some spiders are able to shoot web for real, though. Like, that's a real thing. And I would be playing the PC version, naturally. Oh, that looks... That looks pretty cool. Man, uh... So those are the games to vote through. Zeo Drifter, Valdez Story, Reattempt, Somber Poi, and Webbed. What a collection! Like, this is like all this. Look, if you are into me playing weird game nobody knows, or some people know, if you're an indie watcher, boy howdy, this is your vote. Uh, I know it's not gonna call to some other people out there, but hey, I mean, sometimes there's a Mario, there's a Kirby. Sometimes. It's a selection of words. Uh, words that lead to fantastic looking games though. Like all of these look like they're gonna be like an absolute blast. And uh, I mean, I have st I already have sort of my opinions about what seems more interesting to me, but I'll shut up and I'll let see how the audience plays it. And uh, yeah, like again, I apologize for the multiple vetoes, but I believe that my reasons were sincere and go beyond. Oh well, I I don't I I, I don't want to play that. It's not that. And one of them is in fact a game I would super duper want to play. It's just like I said. Uh, others are just their game I've just seen like too recently, and like it's just it doesn't make sense to me. And one of them does not emulate to my standards, at least from what I have seen on its compatibility page. Yeah, I'm not seeing what I, I, any of those are. That's the way we go. So, uh, wiki wiki, get in touch with me. You gotta put three games in my face. Kashard, Rekul, Silver Scree, Melancholia, Amanesh Shu. Well, you need to each put one game in my face. And then remember to vote. Remember to vote on uh, the offsite. 
And then, you know, you put your preferences and then choose like that. It's a wild system. I think we're all kind of aware of it. And finally, uh, like I said, for the R zone, to be determined when we get a winner for the Raokao Ranks a Game He Played This Year contest. Thank you for watching. If you're happy, awesome. If you didn't get picked for anything, there's always next time. And, uh, yeah, have a great day. It is December. You can have both of those two things at once. I've heard that's possible.